One thing I do like, Ahmed, I like how you said Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? Like, especially in volatile markets, you need to have like a portfolio alloc allocation. You have to have diversification. Like the top traders, they don't put 100% of their stuff in an XRP or a Cardano or a speculative low cap. They don't do that, right? You might have like, you know, if someone comes into the market new, brand new, if they're just going to drop $1,000 or something, I say like just buy spot ETH or Bitcoin, just leave it in there. But if you're going to be adding to it, putting in $1,000, I always like to have 60%, you know, 60, 65% in like a Bitcoin or Ethereum. And like, and like we sort of said, Ahmed, every, every time we do this update, there's another country adopting it. You know, like we realize how early we are and how some of the reports of Bitcoin hitting a million dollars by 2030, they're not that far fetched, man. So I really like that. Yeah. So I think that that's a good, good lesson for everyone in terms of like, have, you know, a big part of your money, in something stable, that's going to be a sort a store of value. Because mm -hmm. as much as you want to get rich and you want to drop in a low cap, like, like that, I don't want to say it's gambling, but that, that there's a bit of luck there too. Right. So that, that's not yeah. the way to get rich in crypto for most people.